I thought I'd give you guys an inside look at the Micro PA50. Uh, and you can see it's a very well built um, device. Uh, we have here the uh, transistors for the power amplification. These, of course, are the uh, IRF 530N, as I've said previously. We have our RF Sense uh, unit here for the uh, SWR and the frequency meter. We have our bypass uh, relay. And of course, we can see here the LPF, all right? The low pass filter for all the different bands this, um, this device is uh, capable of. Uh, as you can see, uh, very um, big wires for the power. Uh, so like I said, I think this, um, this device is very well built. We have our bias um, adjustment um, uh, potentiometers right here. And uh, we can see our fan right here. So like I said, it looks very good, very well built. Uh, again, the only thing that really kind of, uh, you know, a con to me, in my honest opinion, of this device is, of course, the SO239s in the rear. I would have loved to seen BNCs for this device. But overall, I think it's a very well-built device. Uh, I have, like, as you can see, a version 2.1 uh, of this board. Um I don't know if there are any other revisions. There's there's uh, there's not a whole lot of information out there for this device. Uh, you have here uh, what I believe might be the um, the programming port for this device. If you want to program other firmware, none has been made available for this device. Hopefully, in the future, the manufacturer uh, will come out with. Uh, with a firmware for it if there's a need. But other than that, I think it's a very well laid out board. Very simple. Um, uh, underneath, uh, of course, the heat sink uh, and the flow is cold air from the front uh, and pushing out the back. Um, it, If you're used to seeing these kind of power amplifiers for sale, uh, you'll notice that this is a very typical arrangement uh, for for these kind of devices, and what they did was they added the um, the RF sense for SWR and uh, uh, frequency um, uh, choice, uh, which it does automatically, uh, and of course the uh, the built-in LPF uh, section low pass filter. So uh, many people have been asking uh, what are the harmonics. And, and so forth for this device. I can tell you that I did order uh, Tiny SA and uh, I'm in the process of building an RF sampler. So I can get that information out to you. Someone also asked, um, uh, what was the difference between hooking up a cable um, to the ACC uh, for the Zygu, if there be any uh, difference? Um, I wouldn't think so, um, and I, I'll, I'll test that out, but um, 2 milliseconds is, I believe, pretty fast already for, for, for this kind of device. So, um, but again, I'll give it a, a try. Other than that, like I said, very well built, looks decent, very well arranged. Uh, I, have, I had to add a look. At the uh, at the solder joints, and they look decent. Um, nothing really uh, shouts out um, bad construction. Um, just overall, very nice. Uh, we can see here the the um, the microprocessor for the uh, for the RF sense and and all the um, the screen. The screen up in the front, of course, a small little TFT. Um, like I said, very good device overall, very well built, and uh, I would definitely give this a uh, five thumbs up or a five star, uh, full thumbs up, all right? Um, you can see the, oh, also another thing, you can actually see the, um, the, the temperature sensors uh, for the transistors. Um, it looks amazing, guys. I would have to say that this is, 
you know, uh, you've, we've seen a lot of things come out um, of these vendors out there in China. This guy did an awesome job, uh, I believe. This is um, Charlie Sierra Quebec Whiskey Delta Yankee. I did find some videos, but they're in Chinese. Uh, what I believe is Chinese, and I couldn't, uh, I can, I couldn't get Google Translator on on any of this. And he goes in. I think he, I believe he's the 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 builder, um, the person who designed it. Uh, you, there is a GitHub for for um, for this um, uh, with this name, but it's for power meters, uh, not for this specific amp. Um, so, like I said, there's not a whole lot of information out there. Some people have uh, compared this to other amps out there um, uh, on the comments, but um, I did look at the uh, OGS uh, 50, uh, but again, it doesn't have a low-pass filter. You're always uh, going to have problems uh, uh, if you want to stay within the specs Um of the band and uh, trying to minimize the harmonics. So I think this setup, um, the ability to RF sense and automatically change bands, the, the LPF um, to, to, to clear out those harmonics, I think it's going to work great. Again, I will be able to test the harmonics on this device because I am, uh, I ordered, like I said, I ordered a tiny SA and, uh, so I'll be able to take a look. Just wanted to give you a quick glance at the insights and uh, hope to catch you guys on the next update for this uh, little device.